Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set up a Raspberry Pi in headless mode. So let's get started. So you may ask, why is this useful? So this is useful for when you don't have a monitor accessible, or if you have a Pi Zero and you don't have the proper display adapter to connect it to a monitor. So basically, to set this up, we will need to paste in two files into the root directory of our disk image. So the first thing you'll need to do is, if you already have Etcher, open it right now. Or if you don't, let's go to download it. So let's just open up our browser and type in Etcher. And we here is our first link right here. And so we just need to click download right here. But I already have it, so let me just open it. And you can see that it's already recognized the USB drive that we have plugged in. So now we just need to go click select image and then we need to go select our uh, disk image for the Raspberry Pi. You'll find this real quick. And I'm going to use uh, Raspberry in Buster Lite. So you can just click on the compressed zip file that you get when you download it from their website and then you just need to go and click flash and yes. And so now as you can see the disk image has finished flashing onto the SD card. So now we can just close this pop up and we get the main section of our flash drive. And so what the first thing we'll need to do is to create a new file. So let's just right click, press, go to new, and just go to text document for now. And then we need to name this SSH and then remove the file extension on the end. So that way it's just SSH and there's no file extension. So it'll show up something like this. So this will basically enable SSH on the Raspberry Pi on first boot up. And now the second thing we will need to uh, put in is we need to create a new text file. And then we need to type in Wi-Fi underscore supplicant. And then change the .txt file extension to .conf. So now we just need to go and open it. And you can see that it opened a notepad. And I already have this uh, set up right here, but I will have all this text in the description below so you can copy and paste it into your Wi-Fi supplicant file. And all you need to do is to change your Wi-Fi name right here and your password. And here you go. So now when the Raspberry Pi boots up, the SSH will be enabled and it will automatically connect to your Wi-Fi network. So that so then that way you can use SSH from your computer and you can log into the Pi. So now that we've loaded up all these files onto the Raspberry Pi, what we'll need to do is to open up our SSH software. So I will be using PuTTY. So I'm just gonna go open up PuTTY and in the host name or IP address section, we'll need to type the host name of the Raspberry Pi since we don't know the IP address yet. The default host name of the Raspberry Pi is just Raspberry Pi in all lowercase. Once you type that in, just click open. And then now we are, we are greeted by the login screen. We just need to log into the Raspberry Pi as we normally would with the default username and password if you haven't changed it yet. The default username is Pi. Default password is Raspberry. And we are into the Raspberry Pi. 